Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are the representative of Sekolah Fatimah Malaysia for this Mayo competition 2022. My team consists of Nur Amni Iman, Alas Shazwani, Amni Amalina and Aina Shahira under our supervisor, Miss Maiza Tunaila, a proud citizen to you. A Angrah A Angrah came from a French word Angrah meaning fertilizer. Our product is actually a planting medium with its own fertilizer, making no need to add any more fertilizer into your planting routine. Our product, A Angrah, is mainly made up of coconut husk with sad materials which are eggs and onion peels that have been processed to become this. But have you ever wondered, why coconut? Coconut grows over 90 countries using 12 medium hectares of land. Malaysia remains as one of the top 10 coconut producing countries in the world and coconut is the fourth important industrial crop in Malaysia after oil, palm, rubber and paddy. As I mentioned, coconut is very important for industries as it has a lot of use. The white flesh inside the coconut is used as coconut milk, the water inside is the fresh coconut drink and the shells are used as coal. But what about the husk? Roughly every year, 62 million of coconut waste have been burned or thrown away and causing it to be one of the most contributors to pollution and world garbage. Although coconut husks are biodegradable, but having a big amount of it wouldn't be good for the environment as it took longer time to decompose. Hence, our initiative is definitely a waste converter to a lot of money. So, what are our objectives? First of all, our products can encourage people to start planting on their own as it is easy to handle and can be used anywhere. Next, our products increase the usage of organic materials as they contain many benefits and at the same time, they can also reduce the waste of products. Lastly, as we organic materials that our products use are always being burned by the farmers that can cause pollution. So, our products will be using these organic materials to reduce the pollution. So, let's conduct an experiment. This is the production of material experiment. We use coconut husk, eggshells, and onion peels to prepare our products. Firstly, we get the coconut coin. We tear off the coconut husk from its skin. The coconut husk is dried under the sun to remove its moisture. Dried coconut will make it easier to attract its pit. After that, the husk is cut into small pieces. Then, the coconut husk is mashed using mortar. Lastly, the coconut husk is filtered to get the pit. Next, we prepare the material from the eggshell. We rinse the eggshells to remove the residue before it was boiled. After boiling, we dry the eggshells under the sun. Then, the eggshells is smashed using mortar to get the powder form of eggshells. Then, for the material from onion peels, we rinse the onion peels and dry them under the sun. Then, the onion peels is put in a blender and blended until it turns into a powder form. Notes. The eggshells and onion peels need to be dried completely before it is smashed or blended. Lastly, the eggshells powder and onion peels powder are mixed up together with the coconut peel. And here is our final product. Now, let's see how our product works. We prepare two plants planted on different planting medium. Plant A is planted in our angora, while plant B is planted in normal soil. In addition, we use tomato plant in our experiment. The first experiment is to see the adaptation of plant in our angora. We use plant A to be observed for several weeks. Here's the result. On the first week, there is no change toward the plant. On the third week, the plant starts to grow. On the fifth week, the plant grows in 8 cm and on the seventh week, the plant grows in about 20 cm of height. 
from the experiment, it is shown that plant can survive and adapt towards our angkwa, thus our angkwa can be used for planting medium. The second experiment is to compare the growth of plants in our angkwa and normal soil. We use both samples of plant A and B, then we observe the changes after two weeks. Here's the result. Plant A that used our angkwa as the planting medium grows green and healthy, while plant B that used soil as the planting medium, the leaves turn yellowish. Here are the clearer picture of our result. As you can see, plant A grows healthy while plant B has yellowish and wilted leaves. Now, let me tell you what's the difference between normal soil and our angkwa. Firstly, Normal soil has unbalanced pH value according to its areas. Secondly, it is exposed to risk of pests which requires pesticide spray for plants that are sometimes toxic and unhealthy for the plant. And last, it requires more care as it needs fertilizer to grow healthily. While for our and grass, it has balanced pH value as it contains eggshells that balance it. Next. It minimizes harmful pathogens and reduces the risk of pests. This medium boasts antifungal properties as it can repel some pests, meaning that the plant is easier to grow. Last but not least, it has plenty of room for the root system. Coco coil offers a rare combination of excellent water retention, reliable drainage, and an ideal aeration. It gives the roots plenty of room, allowing for optimum air exposure. Egg shells have a lot of nutrients which is high in calcium carbonate and protein. The crucial minerals in egg shells can strengthen the plants and walls. Not to forget, the egg shells contain potassium which is important in protein synthesis and carbohydrate metabolism. It also acts as cofactor for some enzymes and maintains the plant rigidity. Besides that, egg shells also contain phosphorus that synthesize nucleic acid, adenosine transphosphate ATP and phospholipid in plasma membrane. Lastly, it has magnesium that acts as the main component of the structure of chlorophyll molecule and activates some plant enzymes. This macronutrient involved in carbohydrate metabolism. While onion skin contains plant hormone that acts as the cofactor for the plant growth named oxygen. The movement of nutrients in our product. Our product is hypotonic to the root, so the nutrients will diffuse into the root by active transport. In the future, we hope that our product will help the agriculture industry and is the farmers work by using our product. It also can increase the income of the farmers. Besides that, with the innovation that we have, we hope our product can reduce the pollution because we use the coconut coil to avoid them from being dispersed in response to it. Other than that, our country's economy will improve if our product is widely used. This is due to the significance from our product which is of minerals for plants that can produce more plant revenues that can be sold and export. The future improvisation for our product is collaboration with Pharma for the Agricultural Marketing Authority to widen the use of the product globally. Next, the fertilizer production using technologies in every step. Last but not least, further the research to find a way to maximize the use of the coconut heart. Finally, we would like to give our sincere thanks to the organizers, Malaysia International Young Inventors Olympiad 2022 and Ministry of Education Malaysia for giving us the opportunity to enter this competition. Next, our host, Skolatan Fatima and our Bunda Norhayati, also beloved teachers who guided us throughout the process of making our product, uh, Angkrah.